Hello, we are here with Conversations with Candace, and we are on Big Brother episode 33. We're almost done, y'all. Slowly but surely, it's getting there. So this one was the double eviction episode, so a lot to um, unpack here. Um, so Leah is pissed that she's up on the block. Um, she Mackenzie had to explain to her why she put her up. The stuff that she was hearing that people were saying was it true kinda right um i definitely think that she would have tar leah would have targeted mckenzie even though she says she wouldn't um hold on i took notes let's see um leah was up against angela um so yeah what do you think like which one would be more beneficial in keeping Angela or Leah? Answer below. All right, spoiler. The answer is Leah left eviction four to zero on the votes. She left. Um, she was crying. She was emotional. I really like Leah. Um, she was evicted on her favorite number day, 26. So I get that because my favorite number is 19. Um, so, since it was a double eviction, they had to get on with the next HOH competition. Um, it was a competition where the players had to answer true or false about the Deep Fate um, avatar that was Julie. Um, they had to answer some questions about stuff that she said. So, the let's see, the most points after seven questions won. I forget what the title of the actual game was, but um, there was a tie. It was between Chelsea and Angela. Um, uh, Chelsea won that tie. Um, I forget. They asked, I think, in seconds or minutes um, about some game. So, Chelsea won HOH. She went in the house and kind of talked to everybody. She knew what she had to do. She put up Angela and chemo. Again, main target was Angela. Um, then they had to play the veto competition, which was called, um, eyes in the sky. And they had to get five balls down kind of a windy ramp in three minutes. The person that got five balls in three minutes won the veto or the person with the most balls in the least amount of time won. So chemo ends up winning that, um, competition so, of course, he's going to take himself off the block. So, now Chelsea has to kind of figure out who she wants to take off the block. Or, sorry, who she wants to put up. Really, her only options are Mackenzie, Cam, and Rabina. I mean, duh. So, she ended up putting up Rabina, even though she talked to everybody. Um, she told Rabina when she put her up, you know who's my target, you know where I stand. So, then Angela gets evicted, finally. Hadn't they been trying to get her out since like week two when she was talking about people? I have grown to like her more. Um, I do think that once she watches back the show, she will be embarrassed by some of her behavior in the early parts of the season. It got better over, over the time. I mean, she was always emotional and stuff like that, but her actual behavior from you know, making fun of people kind of got better. So, um, Angela's out. So now we have, let's see, we have Quinn, t -Core, Angela and Leah in the jury house right now. Um, Angela was so hyped when she got voted out. I love it. I loved her energy, um, for that eviction. So that was fast. Um, so, how do you think the game is going to go now? What are your predictions? What What do you think will happen next? Who will win veto? Or, sorry, who will win HOH? Um, my prediction, since Chelsea can't win, hopefully it's McKenzie because I do want to see McKenzie or Chelsea win this game, preferably Chelsea. Um, so, hopefully it's McKenzie and then they can kind of essentially run the house again and then hopefully McKenzie or Chelsea wins the um, veto and again, they'll have all the power. So we'll see what happens in episode 34. What are your predictions? What do you think? Who do you think is going to win? I can start asking that question now that we're in October. 
who do you think is going to win? I just showed you I want Chelsea to win. Mackenzie second will work as well. All right, until next time.